Hi, Lucy. Today we'll be finishing up with the series Five Stepping Stones to Victory. Let's briefly review each stepping stone and what it meant. First one, focus. Focus on the size of your God, not on the size of the enemy. Number two, be faithful. Be faithful in the little things and God will give you opportunities for greater things. Number three, be fearless. Know who you are in Christ, and that will remove all fear. Number four, fight. Know the weapons of your warfare and take God's weapons to war. And today we'll be looking at principle number five, finish. Finish the battle. Make sure it's all the way done. So as we go to the story, David has been facing off with Goliath and they've been exchanging words and David takes his slingshot, the weapons of warfare that God has given him. He takes it, he throws a stone and it hits Goliath straight in the forehead, sinks in and Goliath falls straight forward. It could have looked as that at that point that David was done. He could have been saying, hooray, hooray, but he wasn't done because he knew that not only did God want to give him the victory, but God wanted to give victory to the entire army of the Israelites. So in order to really know that that battle was done, David ran up to Goliath. He didn't have his own sword, but he took Goliath's sword and he cut off Goliath's head. That was a sign of victory. That was a sign of triumph. That was a trophy that said the enemy is dead and get, let God triumph. So he took that head of Goliath and he began to just hold it on up there. And when the armies of the Philistines saw that their great champion was dead, they were like, whoa, if a little kid could do this, what would the armies of Israel do to the rest of us? And they began to run. And the Bible says in James 4, 7, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And when the armies of Israel saw that Goliath was indeed dead, they took courage and they began to pursue the enemies of God. And the Bible says that they pursued them all the way to the gates of Ekron in 1 Samuel chapter 17, 52. Well, the gates of Ekron were the gates of that of that of the enemy of uh, the Philistine enemies and you know we are to be the army that pursues the gates were the stronghold of the enemy and in Matthew 16 18 Jesus said I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it know who your God is know what battle he's given you know your weapons and pursue. Make sure you take it all the way to the finish. And the victory, the battle, belongs to the Lord. God bless you.